Hello everyone and welcome back to Canadian Drivers. In today's video, guys, I'm gonna answer your question regarding the front parking. I have comments, people asking me, Alex, sometimes I am overturning, sometimes I'm not turning enough, I'm too close to one side or the other. So this video will cover all your questions and if you still have questions, guys, don't hesitate to ask. Just before we getting into the video, guys, if you just joined me here in this channel and you didn't subscribe yet, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like the video, make sure you are put the thumbs up. So let's get into the video, guys, and I will go step by step so you will see what happened if I am overturning or I am not turning enough. I'm gonna park in between the two cars. So I'm going to go uh, closer to the spot so you can see. And this time I will position myself closer to the left side. And it's going to be harder for me to adjust. And I'm going to park in between these two cars. So signal first. Look, make sure that you are looking. No cars are coming. We're going to park in between two, these two, two cars. So... I'm gonna start moving right now. And that means that if I move that soon, look what happened, guys. I'm going to be too close to this car on the left side. And over there, I have another problem that the car is not straight. So watch this. What do you think in this case I can do? Would I continue to move forward I, or I will go back and readjust before I'm getting in? So let's say I'm continue to move forward. Watch how close I'm coming here, that side, right? So now the only thing that I need to do is to reverse. Otherwise, I don't have a room on the other side and I very, I'm very i already close to the left. So close to the right, close to the left. I'm going to go reverse. What I do when I go reverse, guys, I'm going to the same position when I was coming in. So I'm just moving back because it will not work. Not only that, these cars are, as you can see, they're too close. So my mistake was that I was already positioning myself very close to the left side and I start turning too soon. In this case, the only thing I need to back up the way I came in to readjust. And when I'm backing up, I want to make sure that nobody is behind. me. So I'm going back to the same position that what I was coming in. Now, so you saw it. Two things that was wrong. I start turning too soon and I was already close to the left side. Now I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to be wider. So I'm going to go forward again. But in this case, watch guys, I'm going wider and I'm start moving in between the same two cars, but in a different position because I'm wider. I just need to turn one turn and I'm going in. Now, look at that. Lots of room on this side. There is room on the other side. Now, I need to start to straighten up. When I'm straightening up, I have to go slow. If I go too fast, I will be overturning or I will not turn enough. So I need to go slow. So as you can see, guys, the same spot, different turn, different move and different position. Now, as you can see, I'm going closer to the Tesla, to the car on the left side. And I have a little bit room on the uh, right side. So I move closer to the right. And now the only thing I need to straighten up. And that's how it's done. So now I can get out of the on the left side. And if I have a passenger or examiner sits on the right side, he can get out. So this was a mistake. My mistake in the first time and the first attempt that I was coming in, I was not wide enough. And the other thing that it was wrong in my um, when I was start moving in, I start turning too soon. So these two things, and as you can see, the second attempt I did, I had enough room from both sides and it was easy for me to get in. Now, how I'm reversing from this position. So when I put reverse, of course, I need to make sure that I'm on the reverse. I need to make sure that the wheel is straight. Now, as you can see, it uh, looks like it's not straight, but 
I don't know on which side they, it, the wheel are turned. So what I have to do now, I'm gonna release the brake. I see that the car, when I'm reversing, moving to the left, to straighten up, I need to complete the turn and make it straight. Now, as you can see also in the camera, the wheels are straight. So now I'm gonna uh, reverse. First thing, I'm putting the signal the way the car is moving. So if the car is, if you turning, if you going to the right, the reverse will be first of all on the left. That's the way you put the signal. As you can see guys, and when I'm pulling from this side, I don't turn the wheel. If I turn the wheel right now, I will hit the car. So I am pulling out until I can see that the mirror almost reaching the end of the car that parked. Now I turn as I go one turn and I am out. Now, if I go to the right, I put, remember, put on drive. You have to put the signal to the right and you turning to the right. So that's what I want to show you guys. If you are stepping closer, what you have to do, you have to back up. If you're already inside, make sure that the wheel is straight when you're reversing. And if you're turning to the right, the first thing, the back will go to the left. Remember, you have to put reverse and you put the signal on the side that you're going. Now, guys, I'm going to show you that how I do the front parking. Simple. And it's going to be uh, going in one shot and I don't need to uh, one attempt and I don't need to turn left and right. I just need to line up my shoulder to the line. The car that parked, I put the signal. I turn one full turn and I'm going in sight. And when I'm in, I'm looking forwards. And that way, as you can see, guys, I don't need to do anything extra. I am close. I am perfectly inside the spot on two spots, on two sides. So that's easy way to park the car. I have a video about that. I, I explain step by step how to do the front parking. But the question that I was answering in this video is that what happened if I'm too close, what my steps and how can I avoid that so the car will not get hit? Or if you on the test, guys, and examiner sits, I see so many times when the car come back from the test, the people not turning enough and examiner cannot simply open the door and go out. Anyway, guys, if you have any questions, please don't forget to uh, subscribe, like, and the comments, and I will definitely make sure that all the answer will be answered in the next video. If you ask me to do some extra videos, I will be uh, very happy to do that. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in my next video.